but he wants to say a few words to you, and I am encouraging him to do that. I want to apologize to the city of Bakersfield and its residents for violating your trust in me. I'm truly sorry for my actions, and I understand that there will be consequences. I'm sorry to the Bakersfield police officers who trusted me. I tarnished your badge in a way that I never intended. I'm also very sorry to have placed my family in this position. Uh, to my family and friends and former colleagues, I feel like uh, the big question is why or how I could have allowed something like this to happen. And the simple answer is that uh, four years ago, I put myself in a compromising situation and said yes, or I should have said no. Uh, things snowballed out of control pretty rapidly, and before I knew it, uh, I, I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, as far as why I didn't come forward sooner, uh, the truth is, is that I was really ashamed of my actions and my decisions that led to this. Again, I'm sorry to my friends, family, and all of my former colleagues. I'm here to tell you this. Patrick Mara stands before you unindicted of any charges by the United States. Accepting responsibility for his conduct in this case. He didn't wait till he was charged. He didn't wait till he was in custody. It was done ahead of time. For months now, Patrick and I have come forward and cooperated with the United States Attorney and other federal law enforcement agencies in this case, and we've done so knowing that there was no guarantee of any leniency whatsoever as it would be for Patrick. And for that reason, if none else, I think Patrick should at least uh, have some sense of empathy from everybody here that's made a mistake in their life. Now, I, I know I'm going to say I can try and answer some questions. Most of what you're going to ask, I can anticipate, are things I'm not going to be able to answer, but, but I'll at least feel what I can at this point. I didn't hear the question. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, why did you want to seemingly admit guilt right now to something he's not been charged with? Well, actually, it came out months and months ago. Uh, that there had been some involvement of his partner, and it was at the behest of Patrick coming and retaining me that we, we felt it was best to go back to law enforcement and say, we're here, we want to talk, we'll share what we can. Did you say what you plan to? I can't, not at this point, I won't do that. I, I won't, here's what I won't do. I'm not going to tell you the contents of the plea agreement. I think that's for the purview of the court at this point. And I'm not going to tell you the nature of the charge that he pled guilty with, or to, uh, that he's going to plead guilty to. I will tell you, though, that it carries with it a life sentence and a $10 million fine, no different than uh, what Demacio Diaz is facing. What's the decision that he made One count at this point. Yes, ma'am? What's the, what the decision that he made four years ago that he spoke about? That would be something that you would need to come to federal court at the time of the allocution to hear. Anybody else? Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting us get our side out.